Hi guys! Today we're going to be talking about what's in my skate bag, or should I say my two skate bags. I say two skate bags because I do have two skate bags. One for when I'm on the road traveling and doing shows, and then one for when I'm at home going to practice at my local ice rink when I'm not on tour, and when I'm also here coaching at home. So let's get started. So my stay at home bag for when I'm not on the road traveling, I actually got off Etsy. It's a duffel bag. I'm vegan and I love having really funny, cool vegan apparel that, you know, it's nice to have and get the message out about not eating animals and saving the environment and also being healthy and health conscious. And it's actually pretty big. I thought it was a little smaller, but it worked out. And there is a strap, I just don't tend to use it because it just, my bag's so heavy, I don't want it to, you know, break my shoulder. Um, but it says plant fueled on the front. And in the comments, I'll put the actual Etsy store because I do not remember because I bought it two years ago. Ugh. But yeah, and it has a little cute pocket on the front. And I actually put my business cards in here, or if, um, someone gives me loose change. I even have a 7-Eleven rewards card in here. I use my app. That's nice to know in case of emergency and the phone dies. But yeah, it's a little cute pocket there. And then the inside is pretty spacious and big and I can fit a lot of my stuff in it. Always, always, whether I'm home or on the road, of course I have my babies, which are the Idea Ice Flies. Fun fact about these, super lightweight and they are vegan. Adea does have two vegan ice skates on the market right now. They are the Ice Flies and the Piano. And I'm actually thinking about buying the Piano next and then using these for my aerial act on ice. And one of the huge reasons I also bought them was I needed a lightweight boot for pairs and my aerial skating. And they are super lightweight, but even jumping them, I notice a thousand times difference. Um, they're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. So I got my ice skates. And of course, regardless, again, where I am, I always have my rocker guards. My signature color for these is bright orange for two reasons. No one ever buys bright orange that I have seen yet. And also when I'm backstage, I can see them in the dark whether it be on the guard rack or if I just have to throw them on the ground in a quick change, I can see them without bright lighting. And they're great, and I highly recommend rocker guards. And the other reason, especially for competitive skaters, is when you're walking around the ice, they do not wear out. I have had these for almost four years, and as you can see, they're a little bit dirty at the bottom, but the old problem I could see from other guards is your toe pick and the back of your heel would slice through the plastic and this is super high grade plastic and also walking around because they have the ridges on them you won't slip and that's another thing I noticed in earlier years if there was wet on the rubber or stepping over something I would slip love these and even warming up off ice standing holding on to the wall doing a landing checkout I won't slip in these either highly recommend rocker guards great purchase i know some people are weary of it especially parents or if you're new to skating you're like oh my gosh a pair of guards cost this much money again i've had them for four years where you probably would wear through a regular pair in four to six months so rocker guards thing and this is just for the stay at home bag i will explain why in a minute story time are stinkies. You can get these at any pro shop or online. If you're buying online, I highly recommend skatesus.com. They have great deals, excellent shipping timing. Also, Rainbow Sports I know has them. I was in a pinch one time on the road. I got a pair. They last a long time. I've had these two years now, and you can get them in different scents. This one's vanilla, and I put them in after my skates. That didn't make any sense. Oh my gosh. What did she say? Oh, I can't speak. Quarantine has gotten to me. I put them in my skates after I skate. I do not travel with these anymore because when I was going to a contract, 
I always bring my skates in my carry-on bag and I had these inside and the TSA did not like them and they wanted to throw them away. So they let me buy because it was like a direct flight. It wasn't a connecting, but they said they do not recommend flying with them again because it comes up as like flammable or a drug thing. I don't really know. It didn't make sense, but you will be stopped by TSA. So put them in your checked bag or just don't bring them at all. So yeah, stinkies. They're cute. Thing are my soakers. For my stay at home bag, I have this super cute pair off of Etsy. My mom got them for me for Christmas. I love bumblebees. They are big and that's why I use them at home just so I can save space in my carry on for my other needs. And then I have these cute ones which I actually bought on my last contract in France because my other ones have worn out. And they're penguins! But you can get these in the US too. And they're fun! Another thing I have, um, I take this with me, I try to take it when I go on tour, sometimes I just don't have room, is the Kim Ryan Lewis Spinergy Spin Board. It's an excellent off-ice tool, especially for skaters to still training and competing, adult level skaters, but even though that I do shows now, I still train with it off-ice, and it is the best spin board I've ever used. Highly recommend it, and you can go on Facebook or her website, Kim Ryan Lewis, Synergy.com. She is fantastic. And the last thing for my stay at home bag is my little carry case, which I got at TJ Maxx, avocados because duh. And I combine this with my stuff and then my coaching materials. I have a little pocket with different gloves, thin, thick, and then I have big Team USA mittens for if it's super cold and standing around. Usually when I do learn to skate, I have a llama notebook, I have my skater's music, I have my business cards, I have a screwdriver always, and then I have the Sheila Thielen champion cords, which I still sometimes use for my landing positions, but I always use this with my students. Highly recommend it. You can use it on ice and off ice. It'll make a thousand times difference. Champion cords. The other thing I have, which I use for my students, which I grew up using as well, again, highly recommend it, is the Grassroots to Champion Ankle Buzzer. You put this on your ankle, whichever direction you jump, and you want to hear the clicking sound. And that means your ankle bones are fully crossed. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I forgot how loud it was. And make sure your ankle bones are fully crossed so you get that perfect airtight position. Again, excellent training tool. And a little fun thing. <laughs> and I rotate these both from my stay at home bag, my off ice, and when I'm on the road, are my workout bands and my split stretching band. Always got to have it on me 24 7. And Finally, my travel bag. Again, this is my carry-on bag. You can bring your skates on a plane as long as you have the hard guards on, rocker guards. But also, you can fly nationally and internationally. I have never had a problem. I've been to Europe, Canada, South America. Never had an issue and of course around the United States. This actually was given to me when I was competing with my local rink. It's a duffel bag. It has multiple compartments and a cute mesh thing. It has my name and the club on it on either side. Competitive team. And then I have this cute little bag tag which is the Peter Pan one I got at Hot Topic. Always have an extra pair of Nike tennis shoes. These are more worn down but they're the flatter kind so they can easily just go in. I have that. I always have KT tape, the regular kind. This is the one you can cut and also split, but this one I love. It's the recovery patch. It's specifically for swelling or information, inflammation. I can't speak. Again, quarantine. It's gotten to my brain. And highly recommend it. You can get it on Amazon. It's perfect for if you did something on the ice or in a show and you're like, oh my gosh, I just... I'm going to die. I put it directly on the spot. I highly recommend if you've never used KT tape or with a trainer, you watch YouTube videos or go to their website to make sure you are using it properly. Another thing I always have is a backup pair of laces. 
and a backup pair of huge eyelashes because showgirl. I always carry a jump rope. I usually do have this in my stay at home bag. I don't know why I didn't say that earlier, but I always have a nice good old jump rope. I have my favorite gloves, which one's plain and the other one's an eyeball because I lost the other pair as all of us ice skaters do. Have an umbrella so I don't get stuck in the rain because a lot of times I'm walking to the venue or waiting from the airport to get picked up. I have this great towel, which again, I don't know why I didn't say this is in my other skate bag, but it's those microfiber quick dry ones. Uh, I always carry around a hand stone because I do get my blade sharpened very sharp before I leave and either the show has a person on it that sharpens or I go to a local ice skating rink. But for just little touch ups, I have what's called a hand stone. A lot of pro shops do sell these. If you don't know how to use one, ask your coach or go online. There's YouTube videos. If any of you have questions on it, I can make a YouTube video for it. And then one of my favorite companies, and she's a wonderful person, is I, it's where I get my fishnets from, Floquia. They have fishnets, foot spray, foot balm, shirts, headbands, a lot of different stuff, not just for show skaters. Anyone can buy it, competitive, non-competitive, but it's also reversible, so woohoo! And I love it, it keeps me warm, perfect for rehearsal. And then I do generally skate barefoot, but when I'm in rehearsal, bleh, rehearsals, I wear bunga pads to save my feet and Mondor skating socks. Then again, I do skate barefoot, uh, especially after rehearsals. I generally do. And I always keep a pair of extra low cut socks in case I forget a pair or just something tragic happens in their mini mouth. And always just for fun and because it's another company I absolutely love and support is Adult Skate 2. It's a cute little fun lanyard I have and if I ever have a key I'll put it on it or something fun. So yeah and last but not least always always have this with me again whether I'm home or doing my off ice or traveling I always have a tennis ball to rub my feet with because especially in rehearsals or after a long day of shows or training you really want to break up the fascia that builds up in your feet and it feels amazing so yeah I always have this with me so yay oh my gosh thank you guys so much for watching I know that was a really long video Sorry if I stumbled over my words. Again, I need to ice skate. I need to get out of the house. Quarantine. Help. And if you have any questions about products or where you can buy them or anything in general, feel free to message, comment below, whatever you cool cats are doing these days. Um, also, like and follow, please, if you feel like it that's what all the cool kids are doing these days and check out my instagram allison.kimmelofficial and have an awesome day we will get through quarantine together